Hi guys, it's Yasser Raja here and today I'll be showing you uh, how to install the security alarm from Ring um, to best of my knowledge. Uh, if you have any problem, uh, please don't hesitate to contact me in the comment or there's an email address uh, in my description. You can just message me there and I'll try to help you as much as I can. So I ordered this one from uh, a Ring company which was 169 pound uh, and this camera inside indoor camera it, it was free with the, uh, the alarm system so downside to this one is i didn't pay for the camera but i had to pay separately for outside siren so this system does not contain um, outside siren so this one this white unit is the uh, base unit which will stay in uh, inside the house which will connect all the devices there's a keypad and let's see what's inside this box uh, there's a charging cable and then this unit and then we'll see in this box so and this is the range extender so if you want to use it in the bigger house you can extend the range of all sensors so they connect better with each other See, this is the um, motion sensor which you installed either in your hallway or in your living room. So if somebody comes in front of uh, this uh, motion sensor, the alarm will go off. This, I think, is the door sensor. You installed it on your door. You only get one door sensor and one motion sensor with this system. You can buy separately if you want some more as well. So these are all the plugs you get two separate uh, type of plugs one for the europe and uk differently see these ones i think they are used in europe so this is everything in the box and uh, i'll uh, show you how it works and in how to install it see this is the central unit well they call it central hub or whatever you use it with different names for it first we'll plug this in and we will wait for it to uh, update the software first you'll start updating the software to the latest latest version see here there's two lights one for the power and one for the wi-fi and then you install the ring always home app which will guide you through to uh, connect all your devices with it so first you need to install this from the app store or if you're using the uh, android phone from their store as well see the light is spinning that means uh, uh, the hub is updating itself so now it's connected with the wi-fi see in the app you will get the option to select the wi-fi uh, until it's spinning that means it's updating itself so let it update it's going to take a while and while it's doing that, you can connect other devices uh, like connectors and uh, this range extender and everything to the uh, central hub using the app. So in the app, you go into the section where you select uh, uh, a security alarm and then, well, from first option, you, set, uh, you select um, uh, add devices and then you go to like the next option to connect the security alarm and in the security alarm you select these devices to connect with it so it'll be fairly easy um, you can actually set your pin number from the app as well you know when you go to finish the process for the pad it will give you the option to uh, uh, actually select your pin number as well so this is the sensor you can install this uh, into the corner of the room or on the straight wall so it has a uh, holes and the sticking sta uh, tape on the back as well so if you just want to stick it, you can stick it or you can just uh, uh, put the screws, screws on as well. So we have to wait for the uh, base hub to finish the update. It's taking a while now. The light is still spinning, I can see that. See, when you are installing the uh, system through the app, you will get an option for a subscription or uh, self-monitor 
so if you subscribe it uh, you have to give a phone number uh, anytime something happens there's alarm activated uh, they will send you an um, automated call on your uh, for provided phone number. So if you want to just monitor it yourself, you can just do it. But if you want, don't want to, you can just um, activate uh, the subscription. I think it's 750 for the um, uh, whole system to be and all the cameras to be monitored. Uh, plus, it gives you the warranty for the whole system as well. But I think it's worth taking taking the subscription. So while it's uh, updating, uh, we'll go and install the uh, these sensors, both the door and uh, the uh, motion sensor. See, so first we take this tape out, so the battery is activated in the uh, inside the sensor. See, it's uh, flashing now. That means it's trying to connect with the uh, with the base unit. You see, yes, yeah, it flash. Stop, when it stops flashing, that means it's uh, connected. See, the door sensor is doing the same thing. It's flashing. That means it's trying to activate. See, the light on the uh, base unit is solid now. That means it's finished all the work, all the update. Um, see, continuous flashing, and then it'll stop flashing. So this is the range extender. I have to plug that into the power unit. I'm going to take this uh, chime off, which is connected with the, my ring bell, which I already had installed. So this is going to connect with the base unit as well. Uh, place this range extender in the middle of the house so all the sensors, they get equal signals. Now we'll go ahead and install uh, both door sensor and the motion sensor. I'm going to stick this motion sensor in the wall. Just uh, take peel the tape off and hold it with the wall and it'll stick properly. The tape is quite strong, so you don't need to worry about it. As you can see, the door sensor is installed as well. Again, with the sticking tape, uh, you can either leave it on the side or on the top, it's up to you. Uh, you can The gap between the sensors should be around one inch, not more than that. As soon as you open the door, the system will peep and tell uh, your app as well, the door is open and when it's closed, it will tell again with the notification that door is closed so now we're going to uh, uh, install the outside unit so i've just took this panel off just to get access to the batteries uh, this is the panel which goes to the wall see this alarm here you can uh, either power it with the batteries just normal aa batteries or uh, you can buy a battery pack um, i'll show you the picture of it um, or you can just buy a solar panel or a, a power adapter to power it but i'm just going to use these batteries which was already inside these are not rechargeable but you can just buy chargeable batteries and i think they'll last you for a long time so you don't need to worry about charging it again and again so now we test the alarm press this button and uh, the green light should flash see if it's flashing that means it's connected with the system and it's working now we'll put the, uh, this battery uh, cover on again. It will slide into the place and we'll put the three screws back on again. Uh, this is waterproof, so you need to put the screws in properly so the water doesn't go in. See, the other power source I was telling you about is this battery. Uh, you can buy it uh, from anywhere, basically Argus or Ring, whatever. But I don't think you need it just to, uh, you, just, you can just keep replacing the AA batteries. That should be okay. So now we're going to install the uh, siren outside on the wall. Um, my old alarm here, it was here. Uh, so it's easily accessible from the window. I didn't have a, a tall ladder. So I'm just gonna uh, lean through the window and uh, put it on. So I, ha I already have um, two holes on the top, which um, um, were from the old alarm. So I'm going to drill two more holes and luckily those all holes here yeah, they matched with the, this bracket as well so I don't have to drill too many holes. Four holes all together and now we install this bracket and make sure you put all four screws on 
because uh, this bracket has a, a push on button and uh, if you leave it loose that will keep be activated your activating your alarm um, without any problem so if there's no problem and your alarm is activating that'd be quite annoying so you make sure you put all the four screws now you slide the uh, alarm into the place it will just slide into the bracket and uh, there's a screw on the bottom you just tighten that screw a little bit good thing is that screw has a spring and a washer on the top so it does not fall you just tighten it a little bit and it should hold it on the place so you like that and now I'll go inside and uh, show you how to activate the pad so guys we are back in again um, power lead and uh, I'm just making sure it's fully charged uh, it has the battery I think it will last you for a long time uh, I'll explain you the different buttons separately but first you have to um, finish uh, activating this device in the app and you will get the option to um, select your pin number as well see if you don't then go to the device setting so I managed this uh, to stick it on the wall uh, by the front door see this was the old um, uh, alarm system here I've tried to take it off but it's so secured with the wall um, it will remove the paper as well on the bottom so I'm just leaving it here um, I'll put the double side tape on the back and uh, it's properly securely on the wall you can take it off the bracket and leave it on the table as well but at the moment it's on the wall now I'll explain you the buttons this button you press that away button on the on the corner and you know, then your pin number that means your away system will be activated and all the sensors in your house will be working but instead if you press the home button which is that middle one that means your door sensor will be working but your uh, motion sensor will stop working and uh, because you'll be moving inside the house and if somebody opens the door that will activate the alarm so the one in the corner uh, with the x on it that button will deactivate uh, the whole system that means nothing will be working you're not secured well, well if you're at home and doors are locked you don't need to activate it as well so just select your pin number when you are finishing your uh, activation see these buttons are uh, for emergency uses if you press that plus button that means you are uh, you have medical emergency and your outer outside alarm will be activated then is fire and emergency button as well so i don't think you'll be using that but i just wanted to explain them so now we'll go and try this alarm i'm activating that from my app uh, so when I on the alarm from my phone see both of the devices here yeah, they are giving you ultimatum to get out and uh, see now we're gonna check if, how it's gonna sound we've got like I think 20 seconds left now let's see how it works As you heard, the alarm is active now uh, because the uh, kids are playing inside the living room and there's a sensor there. We'll activate the alarm and uh, I'll show you what happens. So the alarm is going off inside and out now. Um, I'm just panicking. Uh, I'm just going to try to turn it off from here. But it's not turning off because I activated it from my app. And because I didn't set my pin number first, so I had to go into the app and deactivate it. I hope this video helps you to install the alarm system. If you need any help, uh, message me, comment in the comment or in my email. See you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.